Really? Canelo Alvarez, baby. You want baby? I know that. Claims he wanted a Dimitri Bevo rematch instead of Hell No Guys Max Triple G Part 2. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. We are on the road to 300K. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it sweet. Hit the subscribe button. Help us get there. Canelo Alvarez, it's his fight week. I really feel the promotion has been egregious, terrible, disastrous. Been very quiet considering this is a fighter who calls himself the face of boxing. This is a fighter who old media puts on the number one pound for pound list. And this is a fighter who has history with the fighter he's getting ready to fight. Yet it just feels the whole promotion feels muted. Needless to say, it's his fight week. Canelo Alvarez, he discussed some different things ahead of his fight. This is what he said. Quote, I really wanted the rematch with Dimitri Bevo in September, but Eddie Hearns said that we have a contract to fight Gennady Golovkin in September, and we need to do that fight. And I, of course, put cap or fact. In my opinion, that's cap. Canelo Alvarez, see, this, this is what I noticed, and I find it so hilarious, and it's with Canelo specifically. Lego. There's this seemingly good cop, bad cop thing going on with Eddie Hearns and Canelo Alvarez. It's like some kind of bromance they got going on since they've been working together. And with this good cop, bad cop scenario, I've noticed in several interviews, Canelo will say something, and he'll completely blame his team and blame Eddie Hearn for this, that, and the third happening. Then Eddie Hearns will do an independent interview about the same subject matter. And Eddie Hearns will say the ball is in Canelo's court. So that right there shows me that somebody has got to be lying and somebody is not being transparent because how is it Every time we get into these scenarios, you have situations where Canelo's blaming Eddie Hearns, as is the case right here with his recent comment. He's blaming Eddie Hearns for the reason certain things happened or played out, how they played out. And then Eddie Hearns will blame Canelo. So my question is, which one is it? Who is it? Who, who's really to blame in this scenario, you know, because it can't it can't be both. It definitely can't be both. If you're Canelo Alvarez, who's calling himself the face of the boxing, the other issue is you're supposed to be the celebrity of all celebrities. So at the end of the day in boxing, how is Canelo being mandated to, you know, Canelo he can clearly say he don't want to fight David Benavidez or Jamal Charlo and they need to fight each other. All them guys need to fight each other. But now Canelo in this statement is making it sound like as if he's powerless and he literally just goes off what his team says because he's claiming he wanted Golovkin and he wanted the Golovkin fight. But he's also saying that. Or he is, excuse me, the Bevo fight, he's saying he wanted a Bevo fight. But he's saying his team forced him to fight Golovkin. So I call cap. Another thing is Canelo is making it sound like, oh, I. he just now said this this week, the week of the fight. Probably because of my videos and other people who have complained like, hey, this is a bad look. You just fought Bevel. You lost. You lost bad. And then instead of trying to get that back and doing a media rematch, you're fighting a 40-year-old Golovkin. That seems to be a common theme from boxing fans and you know people have mentioned that i know i definitely have slc subscribe like and comment i'm the best in the business and y'all already knew that so i have a hard time believing mr a side and face of boxing has no jurisdiction on who he fights and just just i haven't seen the contract but let's apply a little bit of common sense 
Canelo wants me to believe, ego, he wants me to believe that he had a contract with Golovkin. Because keep in mind, it was heavily rumored that should he defeat Bevel, that they were going to do a September 3rd fight with Golovkin. And there were even rumors that said if Canelo had won and beaten Bevel in Vegas, Golovkin was going to walk out. They were going to do a face-off and immediately start promoting the September fight. Unfortunately, Bevel had other, or at least unfortunately for Canelo, Bevel had other plans and Bevel beat the brakes off of Canelo, spoiling the party. And Bevel literally said this post fight. Bevel said something to the effect of, Eddie, sorry, I, I ruined your plans. He says, I, I am sorry, I ruined your plans because he knew that they were thinking past him and weren't taking him seriously. And in defeating Canelo in that fashion, especially, it had completely spoiled the party because maybe, maybe if Canelo lost and it was like split decision or if the fight was close, maybe you could still save some face and say, hey, it was a robbery. And then the fight with Golovkin wouldn't look so bad. But that's not what happened. Canelo lost and lost definitively. So to me, this is uh, damage control and this is cap and this is an effort to make Canelo Alvarez, you know, appear to be the victim. Like he just, he's just going with the flow and, you know, his team and his, his promoter, Eddie Hearn, they're the ones that forced this upon him, but he really wanted the Bevo rematch. The bottom line is I have a hard time believing that someone of Canelo Alvarez's stature is not calling the shots because again, he calls the shots and says he doesn't want to fight Benavidez He's not going to fight any Mexican. He's not fighting the PBC or taking the PBC deal. He has that type of power, and he lets you know that. He has rehydration clauses and different stipulations for fighters and quick turnarounds. And seemingly, everybody has to bend at the knee to these Canelo um, protocols. But now, all of a sudden, he's trying to act like, oh, I'm just a fighter. And Eddie Hearn said, I have to fight because they have a contract. The other thing that sounds unbelievable to me which is why i'm saying this cap is canelo alvarez truly wants me to believe that you didn't have a fight that was contingent on a victory because we've seen situations where there is fight between a fighter a and b and then if fighter a wins as anticipated because that fighter is the favorite then they'll fight fighter c in their next fight we've seen this many times another eddie hearn fighter Anthony Joshua did this with Eric Molina. And then immediately after the Eric Molina fight, you had Klitschko get in the ring. You know, Tyson Fury Wilder, same same deal. You had Tyson Fury, he fought a guy, Francisco Pianetta, in the UK. Wilder was in attendance, and they immediately began promoting their first fight because Fury, that was his second tune-up before he was to fight Wilder and spark up and start the trilogy. So we've seen this happen where... There's there's clauses. But if Tyson Fury would have lost to Pianetta, then the Wilder fight probably wouldn't be next. You know, if Joshua got knocked out by Eric Molina, then the Klitschko fight wouldn't have been next. So it is it's a spit in the face that Eddie Hearn and, and Canelo are playing this charade and playing this game and want us to believe that it wasn't contingent on a victory. The deal in the contract, because I don't doubt there was a contract to fight Golovkin. But he got spoiled and he got upset. And you want me to really, truly believe that this had no contingencies in the contract as for the case of if Canelo loses, then the Golovkin fight was off. Because the, another reason why I can tell that they just came up with this lie, and I'm going to list it as a lie because I know they're lying, is Eddie Hearn has done it. See, I could have been a detective. Y'all don't want to play this game with me. Eddie Hearn did an interview right after Canelo lost to Bevo with IFL. And Eddie Hearn says the ball is in Canelo's court. And he has to decide if he wants to take the immediate rematch. So how on earth is Canelo now suggesting the week of the Golovkin fight that he couldn't fight anyone outside of Golovkin because Eddie Hearn told him to. But if you watch the tapes, if you watch the interview, Eddie Hearn says... We're going to either go forward with the Golovkin fight or the rematch with Bevel. And the rematch with Bevel is dangerous, but the ball's in Canelo's court. And every time Eddie Hearn, if you listen to him, he keeps saying 
that Canelo is the one that decides. But Eddie Hearn, he's so he's deferring to Canelo and Canelo's deferring to him. Somebody has got to be lying. It's point blank, period. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. It's a bad look. And if you guys deny what I'm saying, please leave nasty comments and say, oh, Ego, you're lying because I'm going to make a follow up video and I'm going to patch it all together. So you have no choice but to listen to what I'm saying. So good luck with that. Checkmate. And I'm out. Hey, so Rolly, you so if Introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work.